Hi guys, uh, after a lot of requests on uh, from YouTube, um, I'm going to show you how to uh, actually prepare the Syscon uh, on board for reading. Um, this is a fat board by the way. Um, the first thing I normally do is just warm the board up slightly with um, hot air. So I've stripped the board down to just a bare board on the bench. And by putting a bit of heat into the board, it does make it a little bit easier to get the pin off or lift the pin up without putting too much heat and force into the pin because they break very easy, believe me. So anyway, if you get yourself sorted, you want to find at least a, a micro or a pencil iron. Uh, you want something pretty small. Um, and a good fine point tweezer or half tweezer, something you can use as a, uh, a counter point with the uh, soldering iron. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So what we're going to do, we've warmed the board up and uh, what I'm going to try and do is wedge the uh, iron and the tweezer pin uh, either side of the pin. Um, if you just gently rock the pin, you'll see when it's loose, and there it goes. Just lifts off. I didn't quite mean it to move as far as that, but um, it was very, very simple, and uh, it came off really easy. So, what I need to do now, really, is just clean this up a bit, and uh, try and straighten the pin out, as it's uh, a little bit close to... Uh, pin 23 this is pin 22 this is actually the uh, supply pin but this is also the pin we use for glitching um, this is the one we got a wire through to the glitch point on the reader now the actual reader um, writer and all the software I've covered in a video uh, I think a video before the last one um, it's all about the uh, new PS4 software, I think it's called, something like that. So you can get all that, if you go to that video, there's links on there to download all the uh, the software um, and the instructions about to make the reader. And there's uh, also um, some other software out there now, um, PS4 Wii Tools. It doesn't go into... Um, repairing files but it's certainly enough to uh, make a patch and um, possibly roll back uh, providing that uh, the syscon and your NOR details or the firmware you pull off is in good order and not corrupt so okay we're just going to now try and get this nice and straight so all I'm going to do is just gently hold the pin on top and just slightly ease the pin back into the centre line a bit. And at the same time try and lift it up. There we go. And then what I will do is just make sure we've got clearance underneath it by using a half tweezer to uh, slide under the pin. While you're doing this just be very careful you don't accidentally <laughs> flick the pin one way or the other. Uh, I've done it myself. You just want it uh, so it's clear with the board. All right. Let's give it a bit of a clean. Uh, my little brush. I don't want to use anything too like a toothbrush because you'll bend the pin. All I'm using is a very soft bristle brush. And my autofocus is seem to be uh, having a hangover. <laughs> there we go. It's good to get the flux out. It, um, it means you can see what you're doing better and I don't know. It's just not nice about it when it's all clean. Well, 
Well, okay, so that pin is on and it is well secure. Now the other two leads, uh, if you've seen or read a lot of the Syscon how-tos, um, they'll show you where the other two pins go. One goes to reset and one goes to the tool pin, which is basically for programming. Um, on the fat board, that's this board, it's quite simple. It's very easy to do and all you need is to pick up two points now if you see uh pin 12 which is the end of that resistor here and pin 13 that one which is reset is the end of this well it's not an end it's a um, test point so your other two lead to go on there that be um if you follow the same color code although we're on this top of the head at the moment i'm trying to find the uh the pictures I was going to put up, but for some reason or other, they're not where they should be. Um, okay, as I was saying, the other two leads, as you uh, are probably aware, are on the uh, on the screen at the moment. The that is the chip we've got here. That's the hundred pin chip. So we've got the, the, the red lead is already connected. That's part of the uh, printed circuit board. So the black leads. The pin we've lifted off is the blue pin. That's the glitching lead. And then the other two pins are the tool and the reset. That's the green and yellow. Now the yellow is reset and the green is the actual uh, tool, which is like your know, program input pin. Um, I will do if I find the right button. There we go. All right, so they will go as I've just said here. That's your tool pin, um, and then your reset yellow is there. There are other points you can do with this board. Um, back on the board here, just back there. There's two little test points just here and I've just soldered them together and what that does that connects the um, test point 12 if I can find the thing again there we go. Uh, that connects the test point 12 which is this one to the other side of the board so on here this side of the board which I'm going to have to oh, refocus a bit. And it comes out while that green lead is there on that pin. Um, the reset is there on the yellow. And the blue, that is the uh, UART. So it can be handy, but I mean, it's entirely up to yourself. Uh, this board is a non-working board. This is just to uh, really show you how to read a syscall. So, I mean, if it's for your first time, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just get over an old board um, and give it a go just reading the syscall. You, as I say, you'll need to... Um, you'll need to build the tool um, which means buying a teensy, but the software uh, is all free and it's on um, GitHub. And if you follow the uh, previous video I did, or the one before that, building the PS4 tool, uh, all the instructions are there, so you should, you should be able to do that. So, what we've ended up with now is I've actually wired it on the back of the board, but as I say, it can be easier to do it on the front. Um, if you use the same principle that I've just showed you, uh, folding the the cable over the top of the chip, um, and then put a bit of tape across it, 
it's it's how it really is helpful. I eh? it's like having a third hand, <laughs> and um, it uh, secures the cables from accidentally getting tugged off at any time. There we go. Not brilliant focus, of course. That's from the camera. It's about six foot above me. Uh, although it should be better than that, I don't quite know. I probably want to clean. So anyway, I digress. So we've got the wires on. That there is just. Oh, there we go. We don't need to be quite that far in, do we? That's just uh, two of those pins off the, um, you know, these things you, what you call them, edge connector. I've just tacked them on there because it's handy to plug in um, your reader earth and bits like that. So what we've got to do now is connect up the actual um, the Syscon read writer. Now, once you've built it, it depends how you build it. Um, I'm just reaching over for the one I built, which is the one I've showed you online I built. I just can't think what the video is called. I'll have to go and have a look. That's the uh, unit. Uh, let's get this untangled. So, as I say, the idea of this is just to sort of show you how to get to the point of reading the Syscon. Uh, it's not easy, and if you've not done it before, I would honestly suggest you get an old board and read it. You can read the Syscon and you can read the um, the NOR, uh, providing A, the power supply works. This doesn't have to work. You know, you can have no, I think this has got, uh, yeah, even go. it's got what missing. It's got the uh, HDMI missing. Um, it's got the HDMI chip missing as well. And there's lots of bits I've seen missing off the board. But as I say, you don't need a great deal. You only need the 3.3 uh, volt running um, to read the UART. And sorry to read the uh, Syscon. And uh, at worst, if you can't read the UART, uh, the uh, NOR on my on the board, you can always lift it off and read it. It's it's good practice, and uh, it will give you more confidence when you tack a a board. Um, you know, that's worth a lot of money, or you know, somebody's pride and joy. Okay, so what we need to do now is connect the leads up. As I say, I'll keep them all the same colour as with that drawing I showed you. Then, if you do the same with your, your program and everything, everything will match up. The only thing I didn't do right was I used brown instead of blue. <laughs> that uh, was a uh, mistake on my part but it doesn't really matter right okay so for for now i'm just gonna poke these in the holes on the earth that can go on the side that's what those pins are for like so, I'll just shift you up a little bit. Don't leave the red lead on the uh, reader for this bit. You'd use that if you're reading a, a Syscon that you've taken off the board. And then we just need the five, the um, well, the low voltage five volt side of the power supply. And for Christ's sake, be careful with the power supply because one side of it is open. And it's potentially lethal, and I mean lethal, it will kill you. That side here that I've covered, it's open. You put your hand in there and it will it will kill you. So please, please be careful. And as I say, I can't accept any responsibility for anybody playing around with anything that's plugged into the mains. I'm afraid it's your own uh, on your own head be it right so what have we got they got the 5 volt connected we got the syscon reader connected and um, we're now going to turn it on 
and hopefully we should have 3.3 volt now as we haven't uh, checked the board I suppose it'd be prudent to measure it so we're on there and there's a 3.3 volt pickup point there and we have got 3.3 volts there we go okay right let's go over to the computer right so we've connected uh, we need to dump the flash so we're going to dump full flash uh, number dumps two so we need to set path uh, we want to call it syscom one uh, okay save two yep right that will save two files um, there's 512 blocks of each well I think each blocks about 4k process done both files are identical it's telling me okay well we'll go for that while I'm at it we're going to save um, partial syscon I want to dump a, one block uh, and just make sure it has um, set the uh, debug mode okay start done okay right what we're going to do now we're going to go and have a look in the folder and uh, we'll see what we got two syscon files I'll have a good look see uh, what they tell us right uh, view we'll have 16 bytes all right okay I want to look at uh, area C A C 3 there we go 85 that is definitely de set to debug so that's good that's set for debug so as I say this is also on github now what we're going to do is go and have a little look at the folder uh, the files that we've just dumped from the uh, syscom so where do you want to go zero that takes me down into the other folder uh, junk folder 20 ah there we go our two syscom files right well it's telling us they're uh, they are set for debug which is what you want patchable probably not exactly decisive but there we go and then you've got uh, a few other settings which are uh, to do with patching uh, that's probably subject for another video that is so basically what we've done now we've got the two syscon files you need to keep those safe because um, if you do get a problem you can always put the files back and hopefully recover um, from a bad mistake but not if you don't keep those files go back to the um, bench right okay so what have we done we've looked at a board I've showed you how to lift the pin off the syscon on the uh, the hundred pin which is this is on the uh, the fat this is probably the easiest board to, to start on namely also because the NOR is a SOIC um, and it's a lot easier to connect to and read that would be uh, the next part the next part next little video I should do is how to connect and read a SOIC but you should know now how to read the syscon and all the tools are free and available to you the only thing you've got to buy is your teensy and any tools if you haven't got any tools but as i said this is not a beginner's an absolute beginner's project you really need to be competent with soldering um and also safe with the mains because 
it does involve using mains powered or mains power supply which potentially is quite lethal it's not entirely encased it's open all down one side and when it's out like this honestly it is a death trap so you know please be careful now if you feel real unsafe about any of it then the only one that you could do it uh, is to use an external power supply now what you could do I will show you um, you do something very similar when you're reading the law now what you can do if you're frightened of using a, a, a power supply and you still want to read the syscom if you when you're looking at the board you've got the uh, HDMI or what's the latest thing <laughs> it's missing off this one you've got the Fnet socket towards you um, then you've got that chip there and to the left you'll see a crystal to the left that is a south bridge below that is the actual nor which my slide up is there okay so i'm going to slide back down again what we're keen on getting a hold of is this point here that cap on the one side of that i'll show you how you can do this without using the mains you need to solder on a reasonably decent uh, piece of wire. I'm going to see if I can find a piece over here. Okay, right. I'm just going to scoot this around the other way a bit. Um, I'll find it again. There we go. Right, so we're going to come in like straight on to it anyways. Okay, so what we're going to do is solder a lead onto that. So say it's slightly bigger lead, it doesn't have to be monstrous, but... It wants to be of a reasonable size. Okay. So let me get that out of the way. Uh, we'll go back to the overhead. Right, so there's our, our wire. And what you can do, I'll move that power supply out of the way. I'm going to have to wire up this again because I unplugged it all like an idiot. So. I suppose really I should put some little plugs on this it would make life so much easier Good as gold. Right, okay. Lob that out the line, come back to the camp. Right, okay. So let's get this all set up. Get that out of the way. Right, so what we need to do is set a power supply up as well. Um bum bum bum. I just think of it to the use to be honest. Um, no. Ah, yes. Now that's the one. Uh, 3.3 3 volts. Yeah, and mm, probably about an amp would be plenty, I think. Yeah, I do. Right. Yeah, 
I'll just check that's okay. Right. For those that have uh, skipped ahead in the video and think you're seeing it all double, what we're doing this time is doing the uh, the syscom dump again, but we're not using the PS4's mains power supply, which can be rather dangerous out when it's not in its case. So I'm showing you how you can do it off uh, um, your own power supply. So basically, if you've got a power supply, you need to set it to 3.3 volt, around about an amp, you know, click it onto the uh, the red lead that we've just soldered on. Um, reconnect your Syscom read writer as you did before. All right, so we've got our three pins. Right, yeah. Um, we're going to have to use the blue lead on the brown lead, which is the glitching lead. Although we've already uh, patched the chip, so we could use uh, another lead off of this point here. So we've got a second 3.3 volt to replace the blue lead. Um, because now the chip has actually been uh, set into debug mode, uh, that pin could actually be soldered back on the board. Um, personally, I'd leave it off if this is an experimental board like this one. Um, and all you need to do is once it's patched is just put a link from that wire to the 3.3 volt. So we're all ready to go. We're not using the PS4 power supply. So we're all at a safe voltage. Um, so that's about it. I suppose we better get over to the computer and what we'll do, we'll do the same thing again. And um, just show you that uh, it all works. All on 3.3 volt magic well it doesn't boot but what it does do it uh, allows us to read the syscom and we can also read the uh, the nor but that's going to be another video well guys let's get back to the computer um what we're going to do this time just going to dump one of the uh, smaller areas the n yes n v s or n v s yeah it's only about 128k so it's a lot quicker to dump than the, the whole chip so it makes life easier okay right well that's really it there's the files we've got so the syscon ones we did earlier um, the block and the mbs so i hope this has been of some uh, help to anybody that's uh, thinking of entering into the uh, the world of the syscon and the reverting softwares and laws it is great fun um you can do it quite easy on a just a board there you go 3.3 volt i think we're only using about probably 50 milliamps at the most so you don't have to use the uh, power supply um this won't revert the unit as you know this is just showing you how to set a board up to read the syscom um, primarily the fat board which is the easiest one to work with uh, what I shall do is I will do another video showing you how to uh, read the NOR and a little bit of that patching on another one so if you've uh, enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up and sub and uh, click the reminder uh, if there's anything specific you want me to cover or you want to know just leave us a note and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So thanks guys and take care.